Africa is getting smaller. Did you know that Africa is slowly but surely splitting into two continents? Yes, it's true. On September 26, 2005, in Ethiopia, a volcano erupted and then a long rift or crack opened up in the desert region of the country. This very rift will eventually form ocean and divide Africa into two continents. As a result of this division, landlocked countries such as Rwanda, Malawi, Uganda, Zambia and others will gain a coastline and now they can finally go to the beach in their own country. While this coastline will also create new opportunities for these countries to trade and connect with the rest of the world. Imagine how exciting that could be for these countries. For the past 30 million years, the Arabian plate has been moving away from Africa, process that created Red Sea and the Gulf of Eden between two connected land masses. Now, the Somali plate, which is part of the East African countries, is also separating, as previously seen in Ethiopia. However, the division of Africa also poses some risk. It could result in flooding and sinking of some parts of Ethiopia, while Somalia and parts of southern Ethiopia could become islands in the Indian Ocean. This process could also raise the sea levels, which could impact coastal cities in other countries. While this mammoth process of continental shift could also cause earthquakes and volcanoes. But don't worry, the separation of Africa and the formation of new ocean is millions of years away unless some geological disaster like a volcano or earthquake speeds up the process. Currently, the Arabian plate is moving away from Africa at a rate of about 1 inch per year, while the two African plates are separating even slower between half an inch to 0.2 inches per year. You know, it's fascinating to think that Africa isn't the only place that is dividing. Iceland is also at a risk of splitting into three parts as the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates are also drifting apart. Whenever and however these splits occur, they will undoubtedly have significant impact on our planet and the world as we know it. But at the end of the day, understanding the process of continental drift is crucial to understand the history of our planet and the geological processes that have shaped and impacted us. Who knows what else we might discover as we continue to study and learn more about our amazing planet.